everybody, it's Grandmoose. We're done with the long day's work and we needed something funny to read tonight. So we've picked out, picked out a pretty good book. It's called, Where's My Tushy? Do you know what your tushy is? It's your bum. Everybody has a bum or a bottom or a tushy as the book will call it. This book is written by Deborah Aronson and it's illustrated by Ivica or Iveka Stanovic. So I hope you have your pajamas on, you brushed your teeth, you said your prayers, and you're ready to say goodnight in a minute. Ready? Here we go. Where's my tushy? We all have a tush, and we're glad that we've got him. Our lives would be rough with no tush or no bottom. If our tushies decided to get up and leave, we'd find it alarming and hard to believe. In one little town, it's sad but it's true, the tushies left town without leaving a clue. Because they believed that their lives were too tough the tushies decided enough is enough. It was late in the night. They had left without warning. The town was in shock on the following morning. One glance in the mirror explained quite a lot. Where their tushies had been, there were suddenly not. The folks in the town were confused and perplexed. Just how would they cope? What would they do next? It's hard to get dressed without any caboose. I just bought these pants and now look, they're too loose. So they wrapped up their clothes several times around their hips while holding them down with suspenders and clips. If they tried to sit down and relax for a bit, they quickly found out that they just couldn't sit. They could lean against walls, they could lie down on beds, they could stand on their hands, they could stand on their heads. Come back, cried the people, who longed for a seat. We need to sit down and get off of our feet. How could you leave? You don't call, you don't write. But the tushies were gone. They were nowhere in sight. Let's look for the tushies, the townspeople cried. Detectives were hired, who certainly tried. No stone was unturned, no rock lift was left unlifted. The evidence gathered was carefully sifted. The townspeople desperately wanted to know just where in the world did the tushies all go? The tushies, it seems, had come up with a plan to go to the seashore to get a good tan. Their lives had been burdened with pressure and stress. They needed a break and a change of address. You feel like that sometimes? So they longed every day, lounged every day in the tropical sun. But after a while, they missed everyone. They missed helping people relax and sit down. So they made up their minds to return to the town. A little girl strolling through meadows of clover tripped on a lump and then toppled right over. By some stroke of fortune, the girl they called Judy had fallen on top of a cutie patootie. The tushy and girl were now reunited. 
She was thrilled, overjoyed, and simply delighted. She tried on her clothes and was grateful to find they fit very well, both in front and behind. Welcome to She's the Town Celebrated. The Tushies felt welcome and glad to be home and promised they never would wander or roam. They knew they were missed and they knew they were needed to help everybody be comfortably seated. The end. So I hope you enjoyed our funny little story. So wash those cabooses or patooties or little tushies. Grandma loves you. Good night.